Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. In front of me today, I have a box of SP Game Used from Upper Deck from 2002-2003. Uh, I don't typically open high-end products because I like keeping the prices down, the hobby inclusive, not fetishizing cards all that much. Uh, but SP Game Used dipped under $80, so it was the appropriate price point for me to pounce because it's a retro product focusing on the history of the game, I guess, at this point. Uh, also, 2002-2003 would happen to be the, the rookie year of Rick Nash, of Henrik Zetterberg, of Jay Bomeister, Jason Spezza, even Ron Hainsey, Ryan Miller, um, a couple of others like Patrick Sharp. So decent rookie class, decent price point, and let's see uh, essentially what we get within uh, this little compact box. Uh, well, six packs per box, three cards per pack. We would happen to get a tiered checklist uh, running 1 to 50 for the base, but then there's new group rookies and all-star flashbacks. There are also uh, authentic fabrics, sequentially numbered cards, future uh, fabrics, and combo authentic fabrics, a uh, piece of history, a couple of other things, tools of the game. There are some autos, I believe, every second box you get autos. The autos list is actually pretty epic, some good ones. Uh, mixed in with some middling ones. Uh, but that's basically it, man. So I thought I would crack and crunch and uh, sieve through this little package, this little bundle of a box. And here we are, game on. Uh, nice, right? Uh, really camped, really clean, uh, really succinct uh, looking box. Let's see if I can get this seal of disapproval off. And punch this puppy into submission. And this is what we have in our possession. Pretty nice, right? Really clean. I like this sort of Team Canada looking uh, flavor to it. Uh, also, of course, of your Ottawa Senators, if that's your thing. Uh, that's because it would be Jason Spezza's rookie year. And there is a checklist, so you can see the new grooves. Uh, the new grooves would actually be the rookie cards uh, on the right there, and then on a, the left. Pretty nice. And there are the number cards, etc. So that's our, our little uh, papery, watery checklist. So we should theoretically uh, get quite a few hits, uh, typically one per pack, I believe, considering there are only six packs, and I believe there are about six hits, uh, mostly memorabilia, typically all memorabilia, maybe on auto. Uh, but let's see, man, let's see what we get. Actually, nice looking packs too, a little bit retro, a little bit Star Trek-y, if you will, but not bad, not, not a bad look, not a terrible look. Uh, so let's see what our, I'm just seeing if I can, separate these cards out because they're all sort of stuck. All right, first card would actually be a Patrick Eliash. And this is what the back of the cards look like. Very, very 2000-ish. So this would have to be the rookie year uh, after, I believe, uh, Datsuk and uh, Kovalchuk's rookie year. Datsuk, by the way, was a six rounder. Isn't that crazy? So we have an Alex Tongay, uh and this is number to 99. This actually, a uh, piece of history. It's a piece of history from, that's pretty cool. We have an Av, and we also have someone who was with the Montreal Canadiens uh, for a bit. I don't mind that at all. Uh, number to 99, I'm wondering if that means it's a gold. I just want to take a quick little look at the checklist. So piece of history, uh, golds are number to 99. So the normal cards would have been uh, number to 225. So this is actually a gold parallel of, uh, of Alex Tongay. Not bad at all. Okay, so that would be our first hit. And then we have this clean jean Danny Heatley card. So, so two base, in that first pack we get two base and we get one hit. I believe we, I just saw a waner, waner alert. Uh, so this one here, oh, there's actually, I believe there's an auto there, but I'll look at it in a minute, uh, is of the waner. So these are the, uh, this is higher up on the checklist. And as you see, uh, it's number 55. So the base checklist runs one through 50, and then you get these uh, legends, 
and they're called All-Star Flashbacks. And this would just be a base one. They're, they're all numbered to $9.99. And we got the Wainer uh, wearing his All-Star jersey uh, circa the 80s. And then they have him on the left there uh, in, with the um, LA Kings. And then we have a Patrick Wilde, which is just a base card. Uh, I did get a hit. I'm, I'm not going to reveal it right now because I believe you, they're not guaranteed. Autos aren't guaranteed, and I believe that might have been one. Uh, so I'll save it. Uh, sorry for that, guys. I have a tendency to uh, save everything for the last bits, and it's just sort of because it's my break, man. I want to enjoy it. So here's uh, Coley, Coley the goalie. And again, this is just a base card. Really nice. I don't think the ones, the initial base cards uh, have parallels as far as I uh, can decipher. And we have Daniel Alfredson. These are really, really clean looking base cards. They're very, very nice. I love it. Okay. And then we have a hit here. And we got Iggy. We got an Iggy. This is awesome. Look how beautiful it is. Obviously with Calgary because most of his career was with Calgary. Uh, number to 225, so I believe it's a base piece of history. So we've now gotten two from the, the piece of history uh, checklist. And it could not have been more colorful. We got all three colors of the jersey there. That is nice. That is really, really, really nice. Uh, note that there's styrofoam at the bottom of this, so it looks like there's a lot more than there is. These packs go super fast. Uh, even though I tend to milk my breaks, do a little bit of shake and bake, if you will. All right, and here we have Owen Nolan. Owen Nolan, man, uh, who was who had one of the most dynamic shots in the game in his era, and you can see his stats: 633 points over 775 games, 12 seasons, and here he is with the Sharks. Uh, and then we have another new groove. So this is, oh wow, we hit the Jason Spezza. This is the Jason Spezza rookie card. That is sick. So there he is on the cover. Jason Spezza, I believe, was a second round, a second overall pick. Uh, he had a really, really illustrious career. I can't believe we just hit the Jason Spezza. That is awesome. So yeah, he was drafted in 2001 by, uh, by obviously the Ottawa Senators. Had a great career, some 1,000 games, and I think, you know, 1,000 games would be the watermark for, uh, you know, stick to within the NHL. To me, that really sort of separates out the, the legends from the non-legends. Uh, put up 900 points in, in those 1,018 games of his. So, Jason Spezza, New Grooves rookie card. We hit the rookie card. And then we got a Donald Brashear, uh, who was a Habs... Um, Obviously, he was on Philly. He was also on Washington. He moved around a bit, but he's a bruiser. He's well-respected in Quebec, and I believe this would happen to... Uh, it's an authentic fabrics, I believe, because it's number 299. It would be a gold. So I believe we hit a second gold parallel. That is nice. So we've gotten two gold parallels, and we got an ex-hab uh, and a bruiser. I mean, a lot of people associate, and I still do to this day, the Flyers with bruising. Uh... There we go. Really, really nice hits thus far. I'm liking it. This one feels a bit thicker, uh, so I shall leave that and continue on. So we have Samsonov here. Uh, it was not Samsonov's rookie year. I believe he probably was a sophomore, or he was a he was a highly touted prospect. Uh, I do not believe he was a rookie card. He probably was a rookie the year before, or so. Uh, and we do have another new grooves, so we do have a second rookie card here. Uh, let's see who it is. And we hit a hat. Oh my god, we hit Ron Hansey. That is great. That is fantastic. Ron Hansey, I believe he was a first rounder, something like 13th or 14th. Uh, he definitely was a first rounder. He was picked 13th by the Habs in 2000. Uh, of course, he was a journeyman for most of his career. He was on the Blue Jackets after the Habs and the Thrashers and the Jets, the Car Carolina Hurricanes. And then he won his cup with the Pittsburgh Penguins, excuse me. And, uh, and now he's, you know, he's paired up with a masterful uh, guy in Riley, and he's just been absolutely fantastic, just a plus-minus beast. 
uh, in the past couple of years. You know, I think last year it was like plus 20 or something redonkutarded. I no, I think it was plus 12 last year. This year is probably is probably will be pushing about plus 20 by the end of the year. I really like this, man. So we got two awesome, sick, beautiful rookie cards. Uh, and let's see what this other one is. So we've got this other one behind the Samsonov. Uh, and let's continue on and see what it is. It's a Jiggy. It's a Jean-Sébastien Giguère. Really, really nice. Nice to see the Jiggy. Big fan of the Jiggy as well. So, And, and he was a very, very solid uh, goaltender who went on playoff runs. It's a little bit dinged in the corner. That would be my own reservation with regard to the, uh, to the Giguère. Nice, though. Really, really nice to see a Jiggy. And that, so that would just be a base uh, for a face as opposed to, uh, because I think they're all numbered to 25 unless it would be a gold. Okay. Uh, and here we go, man. Last two packs. This one does feel thicker. Is it because there's a space here or there's something in here? I think there's something in here. So let's see. Oh, there's only two cards in here. So this is a hit. So we do have the Daniel Alfredson. Uh, wasn't Daniel Alfredson a sixth round pick? I think he was something completely unrealistic like that. Uh, I think he was. He was picked 133rd overall. So he was actually a sixth round pick in 1994, Daniel Alfredson. A lot of people, I mean, he's captain or captain, and yet he was picked that late. Uh, we have a Brett Hull. <laughs> we definitely have a Brett Hull. This is a Brett Hull. I don't know what it is, though. We shall see. We have a Brett Hall, and it's number to 99, so that is a good... Whoa, check! Oh, wow, honestly? Maybe this is why people enjoy this product. It is, it is a sick, an absolutely fantastic, beautiful, sick hit. It's a piece of his glove, obviously, from St. Louis, but like a chunk. So this is the thickness of the card in a chunk. I, I honestly, this is just one of the beautiful, most beautiful things I've gotten, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not very often that I, 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 yeah. Well, Brett Hall, you know, so Brett, the thing about Brett Hall is he's 23rd in the history of the game in, in points. He has, he has some, he almost had 1,400 points. He's got 1,391. And he played almost 1,300 games. Again, another, he's, I believe he's more than a point a game. But the most fantastic and unbelievable thing about Brett Hull was his goal scoring. He had 740 plus career goals in his career. Uh, the 700 club, I think there's only a couple of people in the 700 club. So that would place him fourth overall in the history of the game, right? So we're talking about Wayner, Gordie Howe, Jagger, and then Brett Hull in the history of the game with regard to goals scored. Uh, and then there'd be Dion and, and Esposito and so on. So the, Hendrix, the 700 Club had basically Brett Hall, Dion, Esposito, uh, Gartner, believe it or not, Mark, Gart, um, Mark Messier and Mike Gartner. M Messier didn't make it. He finished at 694. So it's a very, very small exclusive club to have 700 uh, goals in history of game. Bang! That, that hit sort of made my day. Now, I do have one more thing here. Let's see what it is, if it's anything, if it's underwhelming. Oh, we have a penguin here. So let's see who it is. MK. Who is MK? You'd, you'd hope it's Mario, but it isn't. Oh, it's Milan Craft. Okay. Okay, so this is, so it's Milan Crafts. Oh, cool, so I got an auto. That's nice. It's not the best auto, but still, we got a Milan Craft auto, which what we would have wanted was a Mario, I gather and get. I mean. You know, so Milan Kraft was, he was actually drafted 23rd overall uh, by the Pens uh, in 1998. So he was a pretty highly touted prospect, but he basically went off to the Czech League uh, to do most of his damage and so on. Um, but really nice to get an auto nonetheless. Uh, we weren't guaranteed an auto, so it was actually nice to get one. So that's basically it, guys. I'll do a little bit of a uh, summary, uh, if you will, uh, do a bit of a recap. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So, in terms of base, we got these clean, jean, uh, Star Trek-looking things. Uh, nice new-agey 
uh, cards from from 2002 2003 these are all base cards we got one two three four five six seven eight nine we got nine only nine base cards we did get two daniel alfredsons of course he was a sixth round draft pick back in the uh, day when, whenever that was 94 or something crazy like that and he obviously over delivered so those are our base we also have patrick was second winningest goaltender in the history of the game uh three-time con Smythe winner uh, what else do we get in terms of the all-star flashbacks we we hit the waner so that's kind of nice it's a very very beautiful uh again card from very 2000 looking card uh 1989 flashback and it would be number to 999 uh because it's one of those base flashbacks i guess as opposed to gold or whatever else they might have uh, what else did we uh, come up with? We definitely got a couple of the um, authentic fabrics. So our first authentic fabric was of the Jiggy, which is really nice. This is a base authentic fabric as opposed to parallel. It's numbered to 225. We got 205. A uh, Jiggy, I think he was drafted by the ha by the ha Abs. I was going to say the Abs. He was actually drafted by Hartford, uh, 13th overall, way back in the day. Uh, and he actually had a decent career. This card's a bit dingified. Is that's the one uh, negative about that? But that's kind of cool to see uh, the Jiggy had a great career. Uh, we did also get an authentic fabric uh, gold parallel of Donald Brashear. So that's pretty cool. Number to ninety nine is gold uh, parallel. I think Brashear. I guarantee you he was undrafted, but he had a great career. Uh, within you know the Habs and with the Caps and with the Flyers etc but what's most amazing about him is I think he actually played over a thousand games in the NHL in, in his career which is uh, remarkable for someone with his type of skill set uh, as a reinforcer uh, what else did we get we also got one of these pieces of history cards and this would have happened to be uh, Tongue who uh, and it's a gold one it's also number 299 so this is another gold parallel uh, really nice uh, card. This, of course, if you remember him obviously from from the Habs and from also Calgary as, as well as the Avs. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else did we get? Speaking of Cal Calgary, look at this. Look at this sick Jerome Aginla piece of history. This is a beautiful card, uh, three colored jersey, uh, and it's just it's unbelievable. It's such a beautiful. Uh, you know, relic, yet it's only numbered to 225. It's not even a parallel. So that's interesting. Uh, in terms of rookie cards, we've got two rookie cards. Uh, we did get our man, Ron Hainsey. We hit the Ron Hainsey. So as a Habs fan, I always seem to prototypically get Habs. Of course, you know him from a bunch of other teams. It was all over the NHL. Won his cup with uh, Pittsburgh. Now is with Toronto, paired with Morgan Riley, an absolute uh, defensive machine over the past couple of years, uh, you know, putting up the plus 12s and plus 16s or whatever he's putting up. So that's really nice to see. Uh, he's really done remarkably well. And he's also played over a thousand games in NHL. And the other one I got, I did hit the Jason Spezza, who arguably was supposed to be, was typically uh, viewed as such as the best rookie card of the lot. So you only get two new groove rookies, and I hit the one on the box. Uh, Jason Spezza, of course, was a second overall pick by Ottawa. Also played over a thousand games, put up, I can't remember what he put up, some 900 points probably. Uh, so nice to see, to hit the two, two of the guys I would have, or two guys I probably wanted most, actually, to be honest with you, to be fair. Uh, I did actually hit an auto. Auto's every two boxes. I hit this one. Unfortunately, it's not Mario. <laughs> and of course, it's not Malcolm because it's before his day. Uh, it is Milan Kraft. He was a highly touted prospect. He was, I think he was picked 24th overall or something. Uh, but he did most of his damage in the Czech League, unfortunately. He probably played some, somewhat within uh, the NHL. But it's a nice looking auto. Uh, and we did hit an auto, so it's always nice to hit an auto, and it's a hard-signed, hard-signed, uh, sort of, um, what they call paper-cut autos. Really nice. And then finally, the hit of the box, uh, recognize my supremacy. Well, one thing I wanted to say, by, by the way, just with regard to Iggy, is Iggy, I think he's 13th overall in career NHL games. Uh, that's something, uh, that is remarkable. He, you know, has whatever he had, it, it's, it's some unbelievable amount of games. There's only a few players in the history of the game who've played about 1,500 or above, uh, and he's one of them. And this is the hit of the box, guys. Ready? Boom! I got this beautiful 
uh, of 99, Tools of the Game, Authentic Glove of Brett Hull. Brett Hull is the uh, fourth best scorer, a uh, goal scorer in the history of the NHL. Uh, and, you know, this is from the Blues, obviously, which was probably the team he was most associated with. So I'm uh, sort of delighted uh, by this break. A really awesome, cool, remarkable, uh, fun and funky, uh, new agey uh, break. Uh, please subscribe. Please provide me with a like. Uh, please tell your friends that I'm breaking all these old boxes and I do my reviews and my reviews are basically to ensure that the hobby remains at a price point that people can dig as well as the fact that um, it should be inclusive hobby. So that's it, man. Uh, please subscribe. Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm.